Under the dark skies of October 24, 1964, first Zambian president Kenneth Kaunda led the nation to hoist the Zambian flag for the first time to mark the birth of a new nation, Zambia. We caught up with the Anglican Cathedral of the Holy Cross, the custodians of a 59-year-old Zambian flag that was placed at the altar during an interdenominational Thanksgiving church service on October 25, 1964. The flag which is hoisted at the back of the church is one of the first and oldest national flags that are still in one piece. And it has laid on the altar, dedicating the nation to the Lord in all our aspects of life, political life, social life, economic life. The Zambian flag was designed by Gabriel Ellison, born on July 18, 1930 and died in 2017. She was a Zambian artist heading the graphic arts section at the then Ministry of Information. The Visual Arts Council spoke of the role of art in the design of national emblems such as the national flag. After we got independence, we started looking at what symbols are going to uh, make us um, different and these symbols uh, of, 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 of identity, how do they relate to, 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 to the struggle itself? The council wants art to be infused in efforts to build the country's identity. Art is re, uh, linked to culture. We cannot do away with our culture when it comes to national development. How we eat, how we cook, how we, 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 we carry ourselves in our everyday, the clothes that we wear. The Zambian flag symbolizes patriotism and the nation's wealth. The steady flutter of the Zambian flag is therefore expected to evoke oneness and hard work among citizens. Masauso, Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, Lusaka.